So this question says, Tilly earns P dollars for every W hours of work. So I'm going to write down P per W because that'll represent like dollars per hour. Um, so I'm treating this like a translate word problem question, which basically just means um, after reading each sentence, I want to write down any quantitative information or any relevant like detail that al allows me to not have to go back and reread the question all over again. All right, so just having this note here allows me to know what P and W are. So the next sentence says, which expression represents the amount of money in dollars Tilly earns for 39W hours of work? 39W hours of work. All right, so if she's making P per W, per, you know, in terms of dollars per hour, and we're going to multiply that by the 39W hours, then we end up with these Ws canceling out, and I end up with 39P as my answer. So the correct answer here is choice A. So another way to think of this is if Tilly worked, you know, five hours or let's say 10 hours and you knew that she made $5 per hour, what math would you do with this information to figure out how much total money she made? Well, you just multiply this out, right? So the hours will cross out 10 times five, you know that she made $50. I did the exact same thing here. I'm saying, the amount of money she makes is P per W. I don't have a number for it, but I know that it's P per W. The amount of hours she worked, based upon what the question tells me, is 39W, right? So like the 10 hours, I just write 39W here. And then all I'm doing is multiplying those together, canceling out the same unit here, the Ws, and what I'm left with again is 39P. So our answer here is choice A.